So I also read a few articles where you responded as an expert about the effect of certain odorants on people and how their behavior changed in a certain environment. So can you tell us more about your role when it comes to instances of public disturbance and smells and the ways that you've contributed knowledge in this respect? Well, it's not uncommon in communities. And let's face it, there are many, many, many sources of odors in our environment, some good, some bad, some neutral. And depending on the source of the odor, whether it's a bakery or refinery or agricultural operation like a pig farm or a chicken farm, the odors that emanate from that are usually not constant. They're sort of intermittent. But depending on what people are thinking about the source of that odor in an environment, there can be radically different perceptions in a, in a community. And one of the things that happens is that, you know, the more people talk about it and the more people think about it, they can build up, you know, impressions of how safe the odor might be or unsafe it is. That's all going to go into their own experience of how anxious they get or how stressed they feel when they experience that odor. So that's where it's important that people understand what exactly an odor represents, whether or not it can represent a health risk. One of the things that I think can be most valuable to let people know in a community is that the human sense of smell is far better than what we've been led to believe or what we, we think we can do. We're always sort of under the impression that we're at the low end of the olfactory, you know, sensory realm and that many animals are so far superior to us. And that actually has turned out not to be true. People can smell many chemicals, particularly some of the ones that are sulfur-based, uh, at parts per billion, parts per trillion. I mean, we're talking tiny, tiny amounts. That's how sensitive the human sense of smell is for many of these odorants. And if we don't understand that and something smells in our environment and it might smell even moderate or strong, we tend to overestimate how much of that chemical is present. Now, that doesn't mean it might not annoy you, but it means that you need to understand that that small amount that you can still smell very distinctly is not necessarily harmful. And I think that's a very good message for communities to understand. They still may not want to smell the odor on a regular basis, but they shouldn't have to worry about whether it's impacting their health. 